Hi, I'm gonna take you through a very quick end user demo of Abacus. And before we dive in, I just wanna preface this by saying, Abacus does things a bit differently than the traditional expense report. And what you'll find is as an end user, you can submit expenses as you incur them and individually, rather than needing to compile them into a consolidated report. This gives you more flexibility. And also if you're out of pocket, if it's a reimbursable expense, means that you can get paid back a lot sooner. So bear that in mind as I take you through the product. Okay, so Abacus is um, a software that you can obviously use on your phone or on the desktop. I will start with the mobile experience and then take you into what you can do on the desktop. So you will download the Abacus app to your iPhone or your Android. And if you are a corporate card user, you will sync your corporate card. We will provide instructions for this, but you'll sync your corporate card to Abacus and we will begin ingesting card feed in real time. If you are a user who has reimbursable expenses, you will connect your personal bank account to Abacus so that we can reimburse you directly. And whenever you get receipts, whether it's a corporate card expense or reimbursable, you're gonna to wanna to capture the receipt image because that's how Abacus will know that it belongs in your suggested expenses, which is what this number is right here. This red number is a reference to all corporate card expenses and or reimbursable expenses that you have captured a receipt for or that has posted to your corporate card. So if you are traveling and you go out to lunch and you get a physical receipt, you are gonna snap on this little icon right here to capture the receipt image. If it's an emailed receipt, you'll forward that email to receipts at abacus.com and we will route it into your personal receipt queue. So all you have to do is remember to capture the image and Abacus basically does the rest of the work. So whenever you wanna take care of your expenses, either at you know, the time of incurring the expense or a couple days later, you'll just click right here. And here, Abacus will have parsed out as much information as we can from the receipt image. And if it corresponds to a corporate card transaction, we will have matched it to that corresponding charge once it posts. So let's say we want to expense the Maison Kaiser lunch. Abacus has filled in the amount, the vendor, the date of the transaction. You will have had the opportunity to write down a little note as to the business purpose. If you forgot, then here's where you'll type it in. And then you add a category. So travel meal. And if that is all the information that your administrator has configured Abacus to require, then that's it. You just click send. If we require more information, you will know because additional fields will populate. You do not have to guess as to what information to provide. If your administrator needs it, they will have pre-programmed Abacus to prompt it for you. So if this is all there is appearing, you just click send and that's it. You just wait for your money. Um, you can know at any point sort of where you stand in the expense process by looking at your home screen. This will consolidate pending, which are the ones that you've submitted and are awaiting review and approval. The middle section only applies to reimbursable, but it's the ones that are approved and awaiting payment. And then the bottom section completed refers to all the completed expenses that have been reimbursed if they're reimbursable or reconciled if they're a corporate card transaction. So on the desktop, very similar you know, consolidated view of your expense status here on the expense tab. The suggested expenses is that same view of matching the transaction with the receipt image. And then one thing you may wanna do is if you're a heavy traveler and you wanna group expenses together by the trip that you went on, we have this cool trips tab where you can create a trip. Let's give it a title, NYC trip, define the date range, and then once you've defined that date range, Abacus will know that any expense occurring during this date range very well may be associated with that trip. So let's go back to that same expense we were just looking at, which occurred during the NYC trip range that I defined. And now you'll notice there's this little trip designation, NYC trip. Now, if 
for whatever reason, the expense has nothing to do with the trip, even though it's within the same date range, you can remove the designation. But we wanna, again, do as much of the heavy lifting as possible. So you just categorize it and click send. And that's all there is to it.